Hello, Cancer. Ramblin' Mike here. Gonna play some tarot cards with you today. Want to thank you, my friends, for tuning in one more time. Appreciate, appreciate everything you've done for me. These uh, readings will be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, for the month of November 2018. First through the 15th. <clears throat> These readings will be for love and relationships, relationships of all kinds, home, work, family. But as many of you know, I will be focusing myself on love here. I love to read for love. And we all know there's no possible way this can be for every cancer on the planet, sun, moon, rising, Venus. huh? So if these resonate with you, run with it. And if they don't, throw it out. Mm-hmm. I'm a cross watchers. You're absolutely welcome here. I love you guys. I think it's smart to take a look at who you may be playing with and what they may be up to. I do want to tell you, my cross watching friends, that even though I'll be saying cancer a lot, these may very well play out from your perspective. This is tarot, you know, spirits involved here. So let's have some fun here today. Let's see what these cards have to say. Let's go with this right here, cancer. I tune in here. Hey, Terry, we love team. Cancer's here to play with us. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see and help me speak what I need. Help Cancer see and hear what they need out of this spread. Let's take all these amazing pictures, put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Cancer's highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. I cannot do this without you. I appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Cancer, cutting the deck. <clears throat> cancer, first card out right here is Eight of Cups. Uh, Eight of Cups is that card of walking away from something that was no longer emotionally fulfilling to you. At one time it was fulfilling to you, but uh, anymore, mm-mm. You know, all those cups, though, Eight of Cups right here with the Tarot Illuminati deck, they're all stacked up nice and neat. You know, when we do all that love work on the inside of us, we never walk away from all that work that we've done on the inside of us. This is somebody, the, the next card in the Tarot is Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. This is somebody right here heading out to go find their Ninth Cup of Wish Fulfillment right here. Let's see where this goes, Cancer. <clears throat> Four of Swords on top of that right there. This is Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, of course. Uh, this is a card of somebody you know, taking a break. You know, we got walking away from an emotional situation right here. You know, with Four of Swords on top of it, it definitely talks with me about the feeling that, well, I've, I've walked away from it for a minute, but, you know... I haven't really let it go. Just kind of taking a break from it. This is an old card here. You know, Tara's old. Shows that old warrior right there. They used to go out and sword fight. They'd come back and lay themselves down on a coffin that they'd purchased in case they didn't make it through the battle, you know. And thank the divine, whoever that was, to them. You can see him, a little picture of Mary up there on the wall in this card right there. But today, our battles are more of the head and the heart, hence the three swords over the uh, character right there. Healing. This is a card of meditation, prayer. It's a card of setting yourself apart onto the divine, whoever that is to you, allowing healing to come into your life. Because, well, Eight of, eight of Cups rider, right you can see he's sad because this person put a lot into this relationship that they've finally decided to walk away from right here. Does have that sword down there on the bottom, that fourth sword, which is that ace of swords. It's a sword of clarity and truth. When he gets up from his healing here, he's going to pick up that sword right there. It's also a very sharp sword. It's able to cut things off that no longer serve you for your highest good. Let's see where this goes right here, Cancer. Nine of Swords on the bottom of the spread right here. 
been a lot of sleepless nights about this whole situation for many of my cancerous friends. A lot of anxiety here, you know, the card shows nine of swords. The wouldas, the couldas, the shouldas. Shows that young lady sitting on the edge of her bed right there. The ringing of the hands, the sleepless nights, you know. This seems to have been going on for a while with my cancer friends about this situation that they finally made a decision to walk away from and receive their healing while they figure out what they're going to do about it right here. Let's see where we're going right here. Wow, look at all these swords, Cancer. I'm so glad this is all in the past. Eight of swords right here, you know, all up in the head. Feeling trapped, feeling stuck. <clears throat> this to me is a card because eights are all about new beginnings with me. And we're going from a nine to an eight Definitely coming out of being all up in the head about possibly an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Mm -hmm. See, because she's not really trapped at all. She could get out of this, you know, head frump, huh? Anytime she wanted to. She could back up on one of those swords, cut those loose binds off, pull that blindfold off, Get out of that little itty bitty miry clay right there and get back up to this high vibration castle where they're supposed to be. Definitely, definitely. De uh, like I said, it was challenging for many of my cancer friends to let this go. Let's see where we go right here. Oh. Top of the spread right here. Temperance wants to show up. This is a card of being balanced in the situation. It is a card of being patient as well. Like I said, when I first started throwing these cards out, my cancer friends, I felt that many of you just stepped back from the situation. But, you know, I mean, really hoping that maybe time will heal these wounds right here between you and this person. Definitely we're very special to you, no doubt about it, huh? With the Nine of Swords, the sleepless nights, the sadness of walking away, you know, and then all up in the head for a while about it. Um, temperance right here is a major arcana, major life force card. Comes out of the spirit part of the tarot deck. This card right here, in the Tarot Illuminati deck shows Michael, the Archangel right there. He, he, I'm smiling now, Cancer. He has those two cups in his hand right there. You know, and he's about patience because this is about alchemy, you know. The blending here may take a minute because what Michael's blending up here is fire and water, huh? Yeah, this is Sagittarius as well. Uh, may mean something to you, may not. This card talks to me about setting your intentions about what you want to manifest in this situation. Seeing things the way that you want them to be. Meditation uh, and uh, all of that spiritual work uh, causing the potential for all the cooperative components to come together for you here. It definitely shows me that spirit's behind this situation right here. You know, meditation and prayer, being at the right place at the right time. It's right here up on top of your spread in the midst of all of the sadness right here. There's a glimmer of hope right there and a major glimmer of hope because this card definitely talks with me about patience because, well, this could very well be a very special union that's, you know, in the ethers that's trying to be manifested on the planet right here. Absolutely. Many of my cancers already know that. Hmm? We got Sagittarius crowning your spread right there. They may have air in their chart as well, but it's definitely cancer right in the middle of this world with eight of cups. Let's see where we're going. This is where we set right now. Let's see where the vibration's heading potentially for cancer right here. Ten of wands right there in the immediate future. Ten of wands, you know, more fire energy right here. Uh, immediate future, you know, this is a, you know, it's definitely been a burden for you here, no doubt about it, huh? And this is cancer finally 
you know, putting down all that burden. Just be like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna carry it. You know, love should be easy. It should be like breathing. It should be love out, love in, love out, love in, you know. And uh, definitely uh, doesn't appear to that it was playing out like that because all the burden of this relationship, in my opinion, seems to have been placed on cancer right here. Ten of wands, they're all jumbled up on his face. He's tripping over them. He's climbing up a hill, you know. He's heading for a destination. Yeah, that castle right there. But he's still got a little bit to go right there. Mm -hmm. Seems that, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn, huh? But this is absolutely, he's going to get up there, Cancer. And when he gets up there to that castle right there, he's going to lay down all that burden right there and pick up that one wand of passion, that passionate new beginning right here. I like it for you. I like it a lot. Let's see where this goes right here, Cancer. Looks like many of you may have done the right thing. Yeah, look at strength from the universe right here for you. Another major arcana, major life force card, the strength card. Uh, this is Leo. We have Leo and Sagittarius on the board right here uh, with this Ten of Wands right here. Strength, you do not get the strength card unless you need strength from the universe in this situation. Like I said, you know, with this card right up on top, uh, for many of you, you know, whew, this may have just been <laughs> some kind of, uh, well, it's what you had to do. No doubt about it, huh? Even though the feeling of a divine relationship was there. A uh, strong soulmate connection right here. But love, you know, it's supposed to be easy, like I said. Breathe out, breathe in. But this, you know, definitely shows the polarity difference in the two, in my opinion, with the strength card right here and with all these cards on this table right here. <laughs> Eight of Swords, Four of Swords. There's your healing, you know. Let your healing come, Cancer. Ten of Wands right here. Very burdensome. Absolutely laying all this burden down at this particular point in time. Back to the Strength card right here. It shows the lady in the white. She's the hero of the story, you know. This is somebody that works with the upper chakras, heart chakra, throat chakra, third eye, crown chakra, you know, wide open. And, uh, you know, they're taming a beast right here. Also be taming the beast with inside of yourself with that Eight of Cups. But taming a beast right here, the other one being, you know, somebody that primarily works with uh, what I call the Fear Factory chakras right down here. You know, fuck, fight, or flee. Hmm? Yeah. But definitely the lady in the white right there is tuned in, tapped in. Turned on to the divine right there with that infinity symbol right there. You know, this situation anymore is all coming down to the next approach. Who's going to approach who? Like I said, I don't feel that this situation's over. But, you know, that lady in the white has to make her approach towards that lion properly. Even though that lion, we all know this story, got the thorn in the, in the paw right there. And once, you know... Uh, the beauty to pull that thorn out right there. But it's all about the approach right here. Let's see where this goes. Yeah, there we go. Three of wands here, Cancer. Oh, yeah. This is a st strong card of law of attraction for me, my friends. Shows this character right there standing on the seashore, looking at the, the five ships out there. Those are his ships, and they're coming in. He's using law of attraction to get those ships to come in. This is somebody that has put all of their heart, soul, and strength into the situation right here. You know, eight of cups. It's challenging for you. I feel you, Cancer, to back away from this situation because you put a lot of energy into this right here. This card, because the law of attraction is involved with it, in my opinion, also, all, you can't play with law of attraction unless you use the divine. You know, so all of Source has been with you in this situation. All of your angelic hosts, all of your ancestors, higher self, whoever that is to you, they have been working with you to get these ships to dock up here. But, you know, the back is turned to us right there, which tells me there has been plenty of waiting right here. And it looks to me like cancer just said, I'm not going to wait anymore. See where we go right here. 
hopes and fears, six of pentacles. Doesn't surprise me that that came out in this position right here. Hoping, you know, this is a card of generosity. And I can see right here that Cancer was the one with 10 of wands right there that put, they carried most of this relationship right here. They were very generous. Many of my Cancer friends may have been very generous with this person in the arena of the coin. Mm. Yeah. This is a card of reciprocity, equal give and take. And I can see right here in this hopes position that you're going to meet them where they're at. You're going to meet them where they're at. If they're going to come back into your life, you're not going to carry these ten of wands around no more. No, 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 no. Uh-uh. You're not going to play that anymore. You're going to expect equal give and take with this person right here. No doubt about it. Let's see what we got right here. Outcome. Bam, right there. Bam, right there. Hmm? This is outcome right here. Two of cups. That's my lovers right there, Cancer. That's cancer right there. Two of cups right there. I tell you, sitting right up here by, you know, temperance, balance, meditation, prayer, seeing things the way that you want them to be. Six of pentacles right there, you know. Let's, let's do it right. There needs to be equal give and take in this, and I'm really thrilled, cancer. I love that two of cups up there on the top of this spread. You know, this may be, this two of cups, in my opinion, may happen because I'm looking at this full moon right here. You know, we have to see what comes up here um, on, on the second part of November right here. Because this is outcome. Yeah, this is your soulmate, twin flame, life partner. <laughs> Obviously, it was very challenging for you, Cancer, to walk away from this person. Like I said, with three of wands right there, that tells me that all of the divine is behind you to get these ships to dock up. But it's time for you to take your healing and set yourself apart onto the divine, whatever that means to you at this figure point in time. Strength from the universe. I'm so happy that two of cups has come out here for you, Cancer. Two of cups. And like I said, I'm looking at that full moon right in the middle of the spread. I think that it's on the 25th of... November. But, you know, it could come in any time, huh? It's a nice spread. Says to me that you did the right thing here, Cancer. Quit fretting. Get your sleep. Go to sleep. Get out of your head. You know, that's why we look at Tarot right here to see if our crazy plans may play out. Hmm? I like it. Two cups on the top of this right here. Yeah. Oh, that's what it's about right here. All right. Many of my cancer friends right here. See, here's this air energy showing back up again right here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, sun, moon, rising. Two of swords. Somebody in the land of indecision right there. Mm -hmm. Your friend. Probably in the land of indecision at this particular point in time. But you know, they're on, she's on that seashore right there. She's in the land of limbo. She can't stay there forever though, Cancer, because that tide's coming in. And surely she cannot hold those swords up forever. They're heavy. They're going to come down. She's going to make a call about what she's going to do. I love how the hair is blowing back in Terra Illuminati. This tells me that the winds of change have already begun to blow. They know you walked away. They're like, oh my God, where's my Cancer? Well, Give them a minute. Give them a minute here, Cancer. Yeah, see, because they're playing with somebody. Three of Pentacles right here. Three of Pentacles right here talks about working on a foundation of something that's important to you with somebody else. But you can see right there that there's two people right there, you know. This person right here is up on the scaffold. They're the one that's doing the work with all the coins. And we got the other one barking out the orders over here. Sure looks to me like cancer got tired of being barked at with orders. You want this, want that. Deuces. How's that working for you? Deuces, yeah. Hmm? You know, one of these people right here is the money lady, you know. I mean, all this may be about money crazy that people would trade divine love for money blows my mind huh. 
they are making a decision at this particular point in time what they're going to do with this karmic. This would be a karmic with two of cups and temperance Michael up on top of this, right? Or strength from the universe. This is a karmic relationship that they're in. Let them learn their lessons. You know, this person right here, they're fixing them up for you, Cancer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at this right here. Empress right here. Hmm. I love this. See, because the Empress, you know, this is Taurus, Libra. It's a major arcana. Taurus, Libra may mean something to you, may not. Uh, the majors that we have on the board are Taurus, Libra, Leo, Sagittarius right here. May mean something to you, my Cancer friends. May not. I'm loving two of cups right up here on the top of the spread. That is Cancer manifesting something amazing. Soon and very soon, my friends, with the Empress right here. She's all about new beginnings in abundance and new beginnings in love right here. You know, this is the Empress right here. Sacred feminine energy right here. The Empress, it's a secret right here. The Empress doesn't get up out of her throne and chase anything. Mm -mm. She sits on her throne and knows her worth. She knows who she is. Yeah. She uses law of attraction to attract in all of that love and that abundance coming to her, you know. I would say, I mean, you know, sticking my neck out here. Be seated in your throne. Love on yourself first. Pour all of this agape love into you. This love that you poured out on them, they didn't receive it. Pour it out on you. You know what happens? They cannot resist the empress. Cannot resist the Empress, my friend. It's an amazing story that's unfolding here, Cancer. I'm so happy for you. Cancer's time is coming here. huh? And, and also, you know, the nodes change around the middle of the month right here. And the, the, the North Node, or Rahu, is going into Cancer for, for what is it, 18 months? Ooh. It's going to get good, Cancer. It's going to get very, very, very good. Woo! Happy for you. Hey, Romance Angels, let's throw out some love cards on this for cancer, please. And line up with the spread, encouragement, guidance, all that fun stuff. Thank you, love angels. Appreciate you. Right here, let go of control issues right there. You know, your, pl your plan's working. Mm -hmm. it, you know, allow this situation to unfold supernaturally. Woo! It's what I see here, Cancer. I'm really stoked for you. More. Thank you. Look at this. See, somebody needs to release an axe right there. I'm telling you, it's right here. Three of Pentacles right here. Yeah. And they're in the land of indecision, but man, they cannot resist that. You love on yourself like this. You walk in this Empress energy right here, you know. Let go of control issues. Love on yourself. Go get pedicure, manicure, massage. Go get the... <laughs> the beauty parlor, whatever it is that makes you feel good, makes you feel like that empress. That's what you're doing right now. Yes, I love it. It works too. Two of cups right here. Trust. Look at this. The situation is calling for you to have faith. No doubt about that, huh, Cancer? Wow. Walked away from a soulmate, twin flame, life partner. Woo! Because they weren't treating you like you are, the Empress right here. Look at I'm telling you, they're going to show back up in your world right here. Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Mm-hmm. They ain't gone forever, my friends. Right here. You know why? This is a soulmate right here. No doubt about it. Soulmate, life partner, twin flame, whatever it is. This is nice right here, Cancer. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This card talks with me about this two of cups. When they show back up in your life right here, they're going to show up different because you have changed. You've changed your vibration, Cancer. Therefore, this kind of soulmate that's connected with this heart chakra right here, they changed as well. 
Powerful stuff right here. And it just keeps getting better. I mean, engagement right here. You know, an upgrade in a relationship right here. Passion, healing family issues. It's amazing, Cancer. I'm super stoked for you. Yeah, rock, rock this node transit for 18 months. Woo! Right there. Right there. Let me see here. Let's do a major... Wow, man, that just showed me the emperor and the empress right there. Fantastic. Uh, Tarot, love team. Major overall for cancer. Thank you. Transformation right here. Definitely there has been death, birth, and resurrection right here. That is absolutely the story of the caterpillar. You know, the caterpillar made the little cocoon, went inside, died, turned to goo. Then the divine got involved in the situation, huh? It's an amazing thing about the little cocoon right there. No matter where they are on the planet, huh? The divine finds them. And how much more important are you than a little cocoon? And they, they put their work into that cocoon right there because, I mean, science doesn't even know how that happens anymore. How's goo <laughs> turn into a butterfly? Well... When the cocoon opens up, huh? the butterfly comes out. Changed. Never going back to being that caterpillar ever again. I'm telling you, North Node right here. Bottom of the deck right here with my majors is the world card. I'm super stoked for you. Super stoked for you. Who's going to be good coming in here for you? Cancer. And do. Rightly do, my friends. I'm loving it. The world card talks about... Completion of old cycles. Years of shit being upside down, huh, Cancer? Turning around. New cycles coming in here for you. It shows that golden angelic being with her head up to the divine. It's like she's just crossing that finish line right there. You know, the laurels, learned life lessons. You know, the rewards for learning those life lessons in life right here. You know. Uh, Seeing the world as your oyster, and ooh la la, there is my pearl of great prize. Look at this, Cancer. I'm super stoked. Super stoked for you, my friends. This card has to do with Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Fantastic spread right here. Cancer, I hope you got something out of this. I know I did. Namaste, my friends. Love and light. Talk to you soon, Cancer. Bye for now.